I'm going to share with you the study routine that I followed when I was preparing for my PG entrance exam and which helped me to crack this exam in my first attempt. And we are starting right now. Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Taha Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Now, before sharing with you my study plan, my study routine, I want all of you to know that you should be studying for around 10 to 12 hours each day, provided that if you don't have your internship, if you have your internship, then at least take out six hours of study per day. But if you don't have any duties, then study for 10 to 12 hours. Even the toppers, they also study for 10 to 12 hours because it doesn't matter how long you are studying. What matters, how productive, how effectively you are studying in those 10 hours. So even if you are studying for eight to 10 hours per day, it will be more than enough but provided that your study is highly effective. Now I cracked this uh, PG entrance exam back in 2014 and my All India rank was 27 and my category rank, which was general category, it was 17. And fortunately, even in my UG entrance exam, my All India rank was 27 and my category rank was 17. So that is a bit of coincidence. So I'm gonna share with you the study plan that I followed during that time. Now. The first thing that I want to discuss is regarding sleep. Now, when I used to prepare for my entrance exam, I felt a lot more sleepy. I used to sleep around nine hours, around 10 hours each day. This may vary for you. You may not be so much sleepy, but usually when you are doing a lot of mental exertion, like preparing for this exam, you tend to sleep more. So this was my sleep timing around nine to 10 hours. And you may want to study late or you may be a night owl or you may be an early bird. You may want to study in the morning. You may want to study at night, whatever be the case. But the important thing is that your sleep time and your wake up time that should be consistent. It shouldn't be that one day you are sleeping at 12 p.m. and waking up at 8 a.m. And the other day you are sleeping at say 3 p.m. and waking up at 10 a.m. This shouldn't be the case. Whether you want to study late night or you want to study early in the morning, be consistent with your routine. Like in my case, I used to wake up in the morning at around 10 a.m. So this was my waking time. So every morning I used to wake up at around 10 a.m. And this 10 to 10.30, I used to brush my teeth. I used to have my breakfast and all. So I used to start my study from 10.30 to 1.30. So that is a three hours study time and 1.30 was my lunch time. So I would recommend all of you to study for three hours before your lunch, because if you have done that, then for the rest of the day, you only have to study for more seven to eight hours. So try to study three hours before lunch from 1.30 to 2.30 was my break. And during this break, I used to relax. I used to take a bath. I used to have uh, lunch from 2.30 to 4. That was around 1.5 hours. So let me write down over here. One was three hours. Then next was about 1.5 hours. So from 2.30 to 4, I used to study again. And from 4 to 6 was my sleep time. So what I did, I used to sleep for around nine hours, but I used to break the sleep at night. I used to sleep for around seven hours. And during the day, I took a nap of around two hours. And this is something that I would also recommend you to follow because see, your mind is exhausted from all these study and all these preparations. So it is better that you break the sleep, study for some time, then again, have a nap study for some time, then again, have a nap because when you wake up from your sleep, your mind gets refreshed. Your mind is fresh and you have that energy that you can again sit for long hours for study. Okay. So from four to six, I used to sleep and from six to six thirty was my break time where I used to have my snacks and all from six thirty to nine thirty. So this was again for around three hours. So again, for three hours, I used to study at a stretch from 9.30 to 10.30. This was my break time for dinner, for relaxing, for talking with friends, for talking with family. And from 10.30 to 3 a.m. this time, 
let me give this in blue color from 10 30 to 3 this 5 hours of study time i used to do at night because usually nights are very quiet there is no disturbance no one is calling you no one is texting you your family is asleep your friends are asleep so this is the time which is absolutely free from all kind of distractions there is something known as biological clock when the mind is more active during certain hours of the day for me my mind is mostly active at night so i used to completely utilize this time you need to find out what is the time during the entire day your mind is active if your mind is active in the morning make sure that most of the study you are doing in the morning if your mind is mostly active at night then like me utilize this time so i used to study from 10 to 3 that was 5 hours so in total if you calculate and after at 3 i used to sleep and again the next day i used to wake up at 10 am and again follow the same routine so if you calculate this is coming to around 12.5 hours studying for 11 to 12 hours each day will definitely get you within the top 20 or top 30. so this was my routine for the weekdays because at that time my internship was already over at that time the exam used to get conducted in the month of june or july and my internship got over around november so while i was in my internship i was not eligible to sit in the exam so i had to appear in the exam after my internship was over so this was my routine during the weekdays but on the weekends i also used to take coaching and the coaching hours were on saturday it was 2 pm to 8 pm and sunday also 2 pm to 8 pm so on saturday sunday what i used to do in the morning the coaching was from 2 pm so i tried to study for one hour for two hours before the coaching okay because i had to leave by 12 30 or one to reach coaching on time so i used to study for one to two hours before coaching and after coaching obviously after six hours of like sitting and studying in a coaching you get really exhausted so even after coaching i tried to study for another one to two hours sometimes it was possible sometimes i could study more more than two hours but sometimes i could study even less than one hour so on the weekends most of my time went for coaching and similarly for Sunday also before coaching one to two hours and after coaching one to two hours so on the weekends I hardly used to get time for my own preparation but I utilize the weekdays properly and I will tell you one important thing that studying for or following this routine or studying for 12.5 hours each day is not difficult the difficult part is to keep doing this day after day for months for six months seven months eight months when you have to follow a routine for a short period of time say for two days or for a week it is not that difficult but when you have to follow this routine in a robotic fashion for months after months that is when frustration builds up that is when most of the students give up that is when you start getting depressed you start getting demotivated like what what is this exam why is this exam so mentally exhausted so these kind of things are gonna creep up when you follow this routine after few months but remember the student who sticks to these kind of routines are the ones who ultimately crack the exam 80 percent of the students all the students are gonna start this routine from day one but after two months three months 80 percent of the students are gonna quit this routine and basically you are competing among the rest of the 20 percent of the students who did not quit apart from this study routine there was one thing that i also included in my study plan was that i limited the usage of a lot of social media like i limited the usage of facebook instagram and uh, even whatsapp and i would recommend as of now i would recommend you that you quit most of the social media platforms if you are on tiktok definitely tiktok the only social media platform that i can allow you are youtube and instagram because i believe that on youtube and on instagram there are few useful contents there are few useful like example few mcqs that you can get few quick bites that you can get so these are the two platforms that you can use during your preparation period but apart from these two platforms quit all other platform and see definitely you will be using whatsapp so limit your social media usage and uh, 
Another thing, make sure that you are studying three hours before lunch. This is the most important start of your day. And one thing I forgot to tell you that at night when I used to study from 10 to 3, actually what I did, I studied from 10 to 2.30 and this half an hour I used to plan. I actually what I did, I was, I, I used to talk with a friend of mine and I and he actually discussed what are we going to study the other day. The next day, these are the, these are the portions that we will be studying. These are the portions on which we will be solving MCQs. So all the planning for the next day or for the week ahead used to be done during this time because what you are going to study is very important and it is even more important to plan it the previous day and this shouldn't happen that when you are waking up in the morning you are planning that what you are going to study no all the planning should be done the previous day so this was in short my study plan if you want you can follow but i wouldn't recommend you to follow get inspired from this and make your own study plan never follows like most of the students what they do they try to follow what the toppers did they want to try they try to follow the toppers study schedule never do this because Topper's study schedule may not suit your schedule. You have different plans. You have different uh, variables during the day that you have to do. Other person has different variables that they have to execute. So always get inspired from the toppers. Know their routine, know their plan and then make a customized plan for you to follow. And during these uh, 12 hours that I used to study, initially I started solving 100 MCQs every day because I think, uh, let me discuss this. Most of the students are curious to know how many MCQs should I solve every day. So start with solving 100 MCQs every day and as gradually you study more and more topics and gain pace, solve 500 MCQs every day. And these are the things that I used to do. So this was my study plan in a gist. See you in my next video.